Hello. This is Misha. I'm on my lunch break right now, and by a small creek near my workplace. And it's so peaceful here that I thought I'd pick up some video. It's a bit of a breezy day, so there might be some a buffeting on the microphone from the wind. I'm trying to shield the microphones on my hand with my hand. effective that's going to be. But just in case the audio is acceptable, here I am recording. I take my bike Or I guess I use my bike to take me on my lunch breaks somewhere else. I usually go a fair distance from work. So I can explore new places and just kind of get away for a while. feels good for me to completely distract myself during my breaks. And my bike is a good way to get away, I guess. And it's really good because of its uh, of mobility. I can't go a huge distance, but I can go places that I can't go with my car. So I'll often come to this park, to this creek, um, and elsewhere in this large business complex that I'm in the middle of. There's abandoned buildings and um, lots of different sorts of environments. I actually post a lot of pictures on my Twitter and my Instagram of some different places I visit during my lunch breaks. If you want to check those out, I'm Misha Shivers on both of those. My lunch breaks are particularly pleasant for me because I don't have to think about work and I can't really do any of the other things that demand my attention. For example, I am looking for a new place to live. My lease is almost up, and so I've been apartment hunting, house hunting, and I've found that pretty stressful. Which is kind of annoying because I like seeing new places, I like entering a new area and looking around and 
weigh the options, look at the different variables to determine, is this a place I would want to live? What would this look like if I lived here? How does this place feel? I, I enjoy doing that, but with a time limit involved with my lease agreement coming to a close, it turns from an enjoyable exercise to a stress point in my life. The same goes for packing up my house. The last few times I've moved, I have had the luxury of taking my time and finding a new place to live. And it's not like that this time around, so the emotional dynamic of it is But I am excited to get it over with when I get it over with. And I will probably make a video when I move in to share the new place with my audience. That's you. fun. It's usually very empty, like this. There was a spike in activity around here when Pokemon Go was released, of course. But there aren't actually very many Pokestops around here. There's one down there, if you see that pavilion. That's a Boca stop. And that water tower in the distance. There. That one's a Boca stop. But that's about it for Boca stops nearby. So I'll occasionally see people around, but some days, like today, there's just nobody. And it's not used like a normal park because it, uh, it's sort of abandoned as a park. I don't think it's a public area. I think it belongs to the business complex as a whole. And it's, so the space just isn't really being used. <sighs> Sorry, I, I'm trying to still guard the, the microphone from wind, and I was getting my finger in the camera, sorry. Let's see, what else about this place? Um, we're a little bit further away from, uh, in that general direction there. Oh, that was a, was a bird. That startled me. There's a few abandoned buildings that just aren't in use. And I've kind of wandered around them. I don't know if I'll try to go inside them. I don't know if it's worth the risk of getting in trouble for trespassing. I certainly want to, though. But my urban exploration habits are not on the daring side. You know what, I 
have a little bit more time left of my lunch break, so I think I'll hop on my bike and take you to some of the little curiosities I've found in my explorations around here. Well, this may not have been the best idea because now I'm a little winded from my bike ride across the grass. But, um, this is a pavilion from this park that I, I think it used to be in use and it's just not anymore. Abandoned along with all of the other park equipment. The uh, the pavilion I pointed out that was a poker stop. It it looks like it used to have benches or tables, and just doesn't anymore. This is the same way. Though the fun thing about this is a, a little hatch. Leading to, I mean, probably just scaffolding, but I can't help but wonder if someone's ever hit anything up there, or went up there, or left any messages. I don't know. I don't have an immediate way to, to get up there. I can't really stand on my bike. It doesn't have a kickstand. I'd have to bring a ladder and I just I just don't think I'm gonna do that. Still, it's a fun little pavilion, but it would be more useful to me if it had seating or a table of some kind. is a big tree and I really like this tree so I'll, so I'll show you it's a if you can get a sense of the scale it's a little hard here but it's, it's a big tree I wouldn't be able to wrap my arms around it one of the interesting things about this tree is that it's a uh, completely covered in insects. This, uh, both the grass and the tree are just crawling with bugs of many different types. Okay, um, I'd love to continue, but actually, uh, my phone is overheating. It is very warm out here, and the, uh, I'm running out of storage space. So I'm going to have to take care of the ladder and bring some sort of preparation for the former uh, next time I do a show and tell of my little explorations with you guys. So for now I'll say goodbye and I will talk to you again soon.